Good morning traders. Basically, I've been getting a lot of requests um, in terms of people wanting to find out <coughs> what is this thing called backtesting, um, how in the world, what is the difference between having a trading system as opposed to a trading strategy between those two. Um, how are they different as well as how as a trader can you use both a trading strategy and a tr as well as a trading a trading system putting that together to 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 create uh, something that is profitable or if i will put it uh, of having a system that has a positive expectancy. Now, basically a trading system, in terms of how as I say it, a trading system basically is how you put the pieces together. For example, if I have a trading system, it's where I have a set rules of engagement. For example, if I am trading a bat pattern, I will know my ratios, I know that's from the impulse leg between X to A, the B leg extension needs to be uh, <coughs> minimum within the 382 Fibonacci ratio, as well as from the B leg to the C leg, uh, from B to C, it needs to be min a maximum of the 886. And then from C to D point completion needs to be at at the 886, a D point needs to be at 886 ratio. So, an example of that, that are uh, that is the rules of engagement for a bad pattern. So, that in itself, a bad pattern on its own, is a trading strategy. So, if I'm I, I am in the market and I'm trading the bad pattern over and over and over and over and over again basically means I'm trading that strategy over and over and over and over again as opposed to a trading system where you have <coughs> rules and tools of evaluation for an example if I'm trading a bad pattern before I actually invest live capital to trade that back pattern, I first need to do some back testing. Now, what is back testing? Back testing is when you go into the past, you take a chart, for example, the euro dollar. You analyze the charts, for example, for the past three years or the past four years. You look at its performance historically, and then you're going to judge from there if is it's worth it in order to actually invest your live money as well as investing your effort within uh, trading a bad pattern as well as also at the same time you're building your reticular activating system basically it will be you training yourself of identifying that so basically how I do it I manual back test so if I'm investing time and energy and money in trading the back pattern I go into the past I track each and every bad pattern that has occurred. Now, this is a point of caution. I look in terms of that bad pattern completion point being at where I would be presently trading real time. So it's pointless for me to look at the bad pattern's performance for the past four years while at the same time uh, taking into consideration bad patterns that occur when I'm away from the markets. I prefer to backtest and take uh, uh, patterns that have, would occur or complete or where I would identify them uh, in the market at the time I would be looking at my charts. So that is the difference. So basically that's how you build a trading system. You go back in the past, you backtest. You find your results, you have hard real evidence you have rules of engagement. Now, what is the advantages of doing that? One, the limiting emotions, because you would have solid data to prove to yourself, as well as to anyone who's asking, in terms of whatever you're trading, if it would make money over a long period of time. Remember again, 
The key is to make money over a long period of time, not just one month, two months, or three months, but over an extended period of time. Okay. Now, basically, in this video, I'm going to run you through some uh, numbers. What I've just decided to do is to show um, how I have been trading for the past month and basically just to show you the, the, uh, the ratios that are involved. So, for an example, I took data from here. Okay. So this is for the past month. So from the 15th of June all the way down to my last trade which was taken on the 15th okay, of July. So in this period of time, I've been trading the EuroCAD. I, I took position on the EuroCAD, pound dollar, New Zealand dollar, Aussie CAD, the yen, the Euro Aussie, and so forth and so forth. All right. So in total, you're looking at 16 trades in total now what i want to show you is basically the win loss ratio okay the win loss ratio okay of my 16 trades and as well as my risk to reward ratio of those 16 trades now you're going to bear in mind that out of those 16 trades okay this will make life easier so you're looking at from here all the way down, right? So out of the total 16 trades, you're looking at I have won seven out of the 16 trades and I have lost nine out of the 16 trades, right? Which then gives me a win loss uh, a ratio percentage. It gives me a win loss percentage. So out of those total trades, you're looking at the bad pattern let me see if there is any structure as well here. Yeah, you have we have one I took one structure based trade. So predominantly looking at harmonic patterns where I have been trading the cipher pattern, I have been trading the Gartley pattern, and I've been trading the bad pattern as well. So those three distinct patterns, despite the one structure based trade. So basically you're looking at out of those total 16 trades seven were winners nine were losers now then that gives me a ratio of 43 percent yeah roughly about 43 percent point something 43 percent okay of those total 16 trades i actually won and 56 percent of those trades i have lost now looking at those ratios alone you'd say to yourself okay he lost more he lost more and one less is that a bad thing question is you still need to do some more in-depth analysis on that or basically some bit more pen and paperwork now going back to my risk reward ratio okay out of the total 16 trades okay seven were winners i mentioned as well as nine were losers out of the seven winners it brought me it brought me at about 808 or 809 pips okay out of those seven trades alone were my winners out of nine trades right i lost 400 but 410 pips now if you can see the significance okay of having a trading system because now you can see that just in seven trades i've managed to bring in about 809 pips even though i lost more out of the total number of trades okay i lost nine trades in the total losing 410 pips okay get you getting that 410 pips meaning that even though my win percentage is slightly lower but when i win i win big so basically for to put the numbers together you're looking at a 2.5 okay reward ratio so for every winner that i make it covers 2.5 times okay of my losses so basically that gives you it gives you an indication that 
basically how my system is in terms of the firstly the time the period of time that I'm trading the system that I'm trading <coughs> those two things do play a fundamentally important role so it's important to do your back testing before you invest live capital okay in the markets but there's one uh, calculation I didn't do here which is the expectancy okay pretty easy also to do but judging from these numbers um, it is clear that my system okay just in this month alone you're looking at a positive expect expected expectancy system so even though even if my win percentage was down to 30 percent and my loss ratio was about 60 something percent or 70 percent you could see that i could come out positive and still make money in the markets even though it's a grind and it's painful because you find that i would then be having losses after losses after losses after losses and then a win maybe two wins in a row three losses in three 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 losses in a row things like that but over a period of time i do have a positive positive expectant expectancy system that i am trading basically that's the video for today um my internet is doing its own thing uh so i can't do a, uh, a prediction video okay for the week in terms of what i am seeing in the market but hopefully during the course of this week i will do that but basically this video was just to highlight that that it is important to actually backtest to go in the past look at your system before you invest your even your time and your energy and your money and there's various levels when it comes to backtesting there's the identification phase if it's worth your time in terms of actually backtesting that system there's the actual backtesting there's the crunching the numbers and then there's the actual demo trading the, the, that system to see how it actually performs in the live environment market okay so basically the, those are the levels to backtesting and yeah it's important to do that and to have to have rules of engagement to have rule sets where where it is repeatable verifiable and is testable where even if you to give someone else even a child to just run through your rules they can understand it and be able to see and analyze so pretty much that's that for today's video i hope this has been informative and answers a lot of your questions okay when it comes to to trading a system versus a trading strategy because a trading strategy is just a tool trading system is where you put it all together where you also incorporate things such as as you can see here you back test you're putting money management into play as well so yeah it, it's that whole groove together having goals as well financial goals it's important uh, uh, as well as how big you're gonna go how big you wanna risk okay per trade looking at but because there is this misconception between the two percent rule when it comes to trading which i have been burnt a lot on before i actually traded professionally because now the two percent rule for me is not ideal compared to how i trade so i use another money management system that is out there this number of money management system you just gotta invest the time the energy and the money in order to get proper advice and, and, and and know what you're doing because the financial markets there's no wrong way about anything you can trade whatever you want whenever you want but end of the day is one it has to meet it has to be within your lifestyle it needs to fit your lifestyle your trading because for me that's how my trading is it fits my lifestyle as well as i enjoy doing it even though there's pain involved but yeah do enjoy doing it and i'm what i watch my risk so my money management okay this is the one that helps me out so without further ado i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep this video short and i hope it has been informative and yeah i'm gonna keep on pumping these videos um in terms of education and feel free to to to, to send through a question anything you want to ask i'm available can talk so yeah without further ado plan your trade Trade your plan. Cheers.